What's going on? Thanks for checking in. Today I have five training secrets that all big leaguers do. So make sure you stay tuned, check this one out. Coming in at number one with my experience training these major league baseball players, what they all have in common is they adhere to a strict routine or strict schedule. They want to know where to be and when to be there, right? They want to stay on that consistent path and rely back on that scheduling system because they play 162 games, right? So they need to get into that routine in order to have consistent success out on that ball field. So I'll get a text maybe on a Sunday from one of these major league guys asking what's our entire week schedule look like and they'll find out that they have a bullpen on a Tuesday maybe and then a Friday so they're already prepping laying out the framework of their schedule that Sunday night to have success in their bullpens on a Tuesday and a Friday but look don't get it wrong, there's a fine line between routine and having superstitions. The elite ball players stick to that strict routine, however, they're not exactly superstitious, meaning, you know, they gotta wear the right underwear in order to have success that day. Because at the end of the day, you may never know what the game's gonna throw at you, right? If you're a lefty specialist, normally pitch to one batter throughout the year, but what happens if the starter only goes two innings and you need to pitch more innings? You're gonna be all out of whack unless you can rely on that structured routine that you've built yourself. Coming in at number two, all these elite MLB guys, at least the ones I've had a chance to work with, have extreme discipline. How you do one thing is how you do everything. They have all their T's crossed off during an off season. You know, they hire the best nutritionist. They have the best strength coach. Hey, myself, right? They go to the best physical therapists, right? They go to the best chiropractors. You know, they do all this sort of biohacking. They get the cold tubs, they get the saunas. Everything is dialed in, their sleep cross to a T. They don't leave any stone unturned because they know just how important those little things stacked up over time can separate them when they're at that elite level. Coming in at number three is they all have a plan. They all know their selves. They know what they're good at and they know what they need to get better at that particular off season. You know, their plan is super to a T, right? Some guy may come in here, hey, I just need to throw a slider better to lefties. Or some hitters come in here, hey, I just need to learn how to hit, you know, the up and in fastball. Even when they take BP, it's short to the point they have an idea of what they're trying to do. And a lot of younger kids, the less elite guys, you know, they'll just go out there with no plan, try to yank full side homers. You never see big league guys do that. They always have a process with everything that they do. It goes as far as, you know, an athlete coming up to me on a heavy strength day saying they may not like a bench press. And then I'm like, all right, good. You know yourself better than I ever will. Right? So we're gonna do something to supplement that and still get a good horizontal press in. Or even if they go over and start hitting with our hitting coach, Steve-O, Steve-O shows them something, you know, they can take a step back and say, hey, Steve, that actually doesn't work for me. I tried it. I go in there and take 10 and we'll walk out. Just so now. Just so I can read yeah. it and get my timing down. But I would never swing on it because like, there's so much spin rate on the things. Like if you do like hit it, Straight up, straight down. So sometimes these amateur players will get into a habit of believing in somebody else or believing in what they see on Instagram, Twitter, and trying these drills, and they completely lose what they're good at and they completely lose sight of them. They basically go tone deaf with their own body with what they're trying to do. I've never seen that from a big league guy. They know exactly who they are, they know what they're good at, and they know what they're trying to get better at. No! Boom. Woo! Adios. Oye, esas manos salieron ahí, bitch. Coming in at number four, all these big league guys compete. They're competitive. Nice pitch. You got that there? In? Yeah. Might be a ball, right? In. What count we got? 3-1. 3-1. Pete. 
They're competitive in every aspect of life. Doesn't matter if we're in the weight room, they see a guy moving a split squat a little bit faster than them. They're gonna get under that bar and rip it and try to move it a little bit quicker. It doesn't matter, like I like bringing up the example of Ryan Barucki, you know, this off season, we were just playing ping pong for fun, right? I was smoking them every day for a couple weeks straight. And then we made a little bet, right? He's like, I gotta shave my beard if he beats me in a ping pong match. So I, the only reason I agreed to that is because I was just whooping him. I was so much better ping pong player than him. But little did I know this guy's overly obsessively competitive. He went and got a ping pong table, started working with his neighbor in nighttime just to beat me. And you know, he came out on the end and unfortunately I had to shave my beard. I didn't have the competitiveness he did and he ended up coming out on top. But the point is anything they do in their entire life, they're overly competitive. They're obsessed with that competitiveness atmosphere. So that's what I try to create in a training atmosphere. And that's how those guys reach that next tier, that next tier, that next tier. And number five, with these elite MLB guys, you hear it all the time, right? People falling in love with the process. These guys aren't in love with the process. These guys are obsessed with the process. Everything they think about is how it's gonna affect their play on that field. From the moment they wake up, the moment they go to bed, even in here in the weight room between sets, you'll see these elite MLB pitchers on the mound doing dry reps. You know, the hitters will go in the cage, try to find their load, whatever it may be. A big story that comes to mind where I realize just how different these guys think, these elite athletes think, than, you know, the typical average Joe athlete is last off season, I got an opportunity to work with Tommy Pham, who, you know, highly decorated big league player, right? We hit a training session early on around 10 a.m. in the morning, and we broke, said our goodbyes, whatever it may be. I went into the office, you know, cranked out some office work and for a couple hours, right? And I came back out into the gym, you know, maybe three, four hours early. Tommy Pham's still over in the corner. He's got bands rigged up on his backside, looking at himself in the mirror, uh, just trying to get his load down, get his load down. So he's completely obsessed. He was here for maybe 10 hours that particular day, you know, just going over load, how it looks, playing back video on his phone. Just falling in love is an understatement. These guys are all gonna be obsessed with the process. Now granted, don't get me wrong, there are gonna be outliers here. There's gonna be big leaguers out there with zero work ethic that are still having success on that high stage. But let me tell you, that is very, very rare. Most of these major leaguers out there are busting their ass following these five principles. But I'd say close to 95% of these major league guys are adhering to these five principles. And these are something you can do very simply, no matter what age you are, you can start implementing them into your own you know, daily discipline to achieve that mindset, that intrinsic motivation, and that work ethic these big leaguers have. And the earlier you start that, the more success you're gonna have down the road. So go ahead, add those five components into your life right now. If your goal is to make it on that big stage, become a major league baseball player. Also, if you have any questions at all on this topic, go ahead, shoot me a DM on Instagram and I'll follow up and get back to you. Also, always remember that I pump out two of these videos per week. So do me a favor and subscribe for me. I appreciate you. We'll catch you next week. Game rewards the grind. It knows how much you've invested.